back. I'm back, and I'm here to teach y'all uh, um, what characters to use for the Grey Demon Deathmatch, Grey Demon Boss Battle. So basically, this is my team right here. I use um, Lolly Merlin, Green Gother, Green Liz, and uh, Green Zaneri. Green Zaneri. Um... And for the replacements, if you don't have Lolly Merlin, let's see. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? If you don't have Lolly Merlin, you could use Green King. Yeah, right here. You could use Green King. You could use Green King. If you don't have uh, Green Gunther, you could also use a Buffer. You could use. Um, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, let me do it by. Let me do it by attributes. Yeah. All right. So you could use you could use a buffer like um. Where is he? I should have him rank ninety. Or do I? I don't know. You could use Hellbrim. You could use Hellbrim. He has a yeah, it increased attack related stats of all allies by twenty percent. You could also use um what's his name? Gil Thunder, but there we go, found him. Holy Knight Gil Thunder because of his uh buff. Increased attack of all allies by 60 percent. Green Liz is here because you wanna rank up all your um attack stats. Zaneri is here because she gives you more, um, what's it called? Cosmetic materials. She just gives you more cosmetic materials. If you want to use green, if you want to use green Zaneri, or if you don't have green Zaneri, you could also use Death Pierce. You could also, you could also use Death Pierce, which decrease all enemies' crit resistance and crit defense. So basically, the most ideal team is that one person want to run this team that I have right here with Lolly Merlin and Green Gother and the next team will usually will want to run like the same team but just replace Gother with a buffer so basically like either um what's his name what's his name Gil Thunder or Hellburn one of them so basically let me show y'all Alright, so you see how he's running Green Gother, Lolly Merlin, Green um Liz and Ali only backline. I could keep the same team, but um I'd rather change it to a, a buffer. So I'm gonna change him to Green Gill Thunder real quick. And then we're going to start it. Yeah, this this is not too hard anyway. So basically, essentially, if if the other team has a green goat there, you want to wait till the other team use the rank up. And then you want to use um, your green goat. You want to use your, <clears throat> your buff, either your whole broom or your guild thunder buff, and then attack with Merlin. If you have your Merlin well built, it should be a one shot. It, it should be a one shot. You better see. Uh, I'm gonna tell him I have buff. I'm gonna wait for his wait for his stuff though. Yeah, you see, boom, boom, and a boom. That should be a one shot. Turn everything to tier three. Buff by Guild Thunder. And then this should take them out. Oh, it didn't. It, it usually was shots, but sometimes that happens. But, you know, essentially, it still got the job done. It still got the job done, so it's all right.
Now, usually, this is where the other guy comes in and use his Merlin attacks. Does he have any? Uh, I mean, I, I'm just going to use these because that's all I got. Um, all right, what's going on with this guy? There we go. Yeah, and that should be game, really. 240k. This is not going to really do any damage. 33k, not bad. 36k. And then that should kill. Yep, see, there we go. Yeah, great, great demon is not too. Great demon is not hard either. It's just a matter of fact of um. You always want to use the go to rank up first, and then whoever's the buffer, you just let them buff, and then you use your Merlin um power strike card that should one shot the um the first turn, and then the second turn the other opponent is gonna. I said the other opponent, your partner should dump all of their attacks is essentially after you both after you use rank up and then you both you just dump all your attacks that's all it is but anyway i'm gonna catch y'all guys later